about communication. Real talk. There's a quote from Ralph Nichols that says, the most basic of all human needs is the need to understand and be understood. The best way to understand people is to actually listen to them. In order to communicate well, you've got to do two things really well. First, you need to authentically communicate your needs. That's challenging, but there's one more. The second thing you've got to do is to listen in a way that people feel really heard. I never said that this was easy, but it is so worth your time developing a way to communicate and talk to people so that they feel heard. It's kind of an art form. It's kind of like learning a new instrument, if you've ever done that. It's a little painful, um, even for the people around you. But while you're developing this art form, eventually you're going to be able to play. And being able to speak in a way that others can hear will absolutely transform your life. There's four communication styles. We have the aggressive communicator. The aggressive communicator says, my thoughts and feelings matter, my needs matter, but yours don't. Bummer for you. Okay, then we have the passive communicator. The passive communicator says, your needs, feelings, desires matter and mine don't. That also doesn't work out too great for us. Then we have the passive aggressive communicator. Um, this person says, your thoughts, needs, and wants matter, but mine don't. But they don't actually mean that, so don't be fooled. It's very tricky. The one we're actually going for is the fourth one, which is the assertive communicator. This person says, your thoughts, feelings, and needs matter, and so do mine. This is where we want to end up. If we can learn to communicate assertively, and listen well to others as they communicate assertively, we will find the most fulfilling, connected relationships. When I first got married, I thought I was a pretty good communicator. Turns out I was just pretty nice and pretty passive, and that worked out great for my husband until I got really aggressive a few years into marriage, realizing actually that's not working out too good for me. That was the most crazy time in our marriage because the disconnection was massive as I realized we hadn't really been communicating for years of our relationship. Wake up call. Becoming assertive is becoming a powerful person. In order to communicate well, you have got to be powerful. Have you ever had a dream where you really need to scream or yell or you need something to come out of your mouth, but for the life of you, you can't get any noise to come out of your mouth? That would describe kind of the way I went into marriage communicating with sort of that passive, ah, oh, it's all good mentality. I thought I was just being really nice, but really I wasn't being that nice because that passivity turns pretty aggressive and it turns on a dime. It's a scary situation. What you have by way of connection when you're really being passive is elusive. It's not real. When you can learn to be assertive, which is something that I have had to work really hard at doing, that, that when you're both being assertive and communicating, you're finding connection, which is what we all really want. Connection is the goal of communication. Now, to develop our art form of communicating, there are some really basic steps. And the first one is put down your weapons. If you're coming to the table to communicate and you are geared up for the fight of your life, good luck not finding a really defensive person on the other side of the table. My sister just recently got a puppy and um, she's a little Doberman puppy. And so she's got tons of energy, but every once in a while when she's feeling really safe, she'll just lay down at your feet and roll over and just show her belly. She'll just bring it to the table and she'll let you scratch your belly. And the other day, she's laying there just like full exposure, showing her belly. And I, I was looking at her thinking like, that is the way that I need to be going to my husband, talking to him. Just with all my weapons laid down and this full exposure of, hey, here I am. Not all my accusations, but here I am. You need authenticity to come to the table. You need to really know what it is you're wanting and needing and be able to express that. Now that is harder than it sounds. Sometimes we think we just want them to change. Totally understandable. They might need to, but what you're really needing is not that. You're needing, you need to figure out what it is you want and what you need so that you can express from your point of view, not about them. Trust me, it doesn't work the other way. 
All right, the next thing is listen like your life depends on it. If you wanna have a good communication style with someone that's really important to you, the way you can let that be a safe place to happen is be so authentic as you listen to them. Care about what they're saying. Don't be planning your next words of attack while they share their heart with you. No way, lay it all down, go low. Listen like you actually care and you'd be amazed what the people in your life will tell you. There is some amazing art to be discovered as you start to develop this thing inside of you. You have uh, masterful things to say with your words. Our words create our worlds. And so whatever it is that you're able to start having be life and connection in your relationships, it will be the most phenomenally rewarding thing to you. I dare you to get low and get authentic and listen like you mean it. It'll change your life.